Today on Do It, we're going to use this existing MakerBot leveling plate knob, model it in 3D, so we can 3D print this replacement. Hey guys, I'm Simon and in today's short follow-up project I'm going to show you what it took to get this 3D printed replacement part ready for use on a MakerBot replicator. If you missed the design tutorial, make sure to click on over to that at the end of this video or at any time in the card above. This part didn't have to be too pretty because it sits under the print bed, but I gave it a coat of black anyway so it would match the rest of the machine. I modeled this part as precisely as I could, bearing in mind the inner and outer diameter of the threaded insert I'd be using, but it didn't take long to realize I was going to have to drill the hole a tad wider to get the dang thing in there without busting it. Fortunately, the print settings were hefty enough that I didn't break through the outer layers into the infill. I didn't want there to be any chance of the insert ever coming loose, so I used some 5 minute epoxy to really seal it into its home. I love this stuff, it's inexpensive, you can get it anywhere, it's really easy to use, and it's insanely strong. It's a great alternative to CA glue, particularly here when bonding unlike materials like metal to plastic. However, I did have to be a little careful because of how viscous it is, I didn't want any getting into the inner threads, solidifying and ruining the whole part. This thing might look a little uglier compared to its original counterpart, but I'm thinking it's going to serve its purpose just fine. Let's take it over to the 3D printer and see. So this is where I take an opportunity to just see if it fits now that the build plate has risen to a height that I can manage. Here goes nothing. Alright, so I can feel right now it's threaded as you can see, it's held, holding in there on its own, but I can feel feel it getting tight. I don't know if it's because my model is a little too wide or if it's because I have some epoxy that solidified in the threads of the insert. Either way though, I am making some progress. This is where I increase the speed of the video. Oh, I'm feeling some resistance like I might be getting to the spring here. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, so now let's watch to see if the bill plate sinks or... I think... I think we got it. So I tighten this. So here, bring... Check it out up here. So we're using these knobs and you want to twist them as... Not as tight as they can go, but it says two to three full turns. And usually I just go until I can feel the spring. And that's about as far as it'll go. I don't know, I don't want to damage anything, so I'm just gonna kinda leave it there and hope for the best. I don't know. Yeah, okay. So I have inserted both knobs and twisted them, I tightened them the hopefully appropriate amount. Let's go through this here.
So as usual, it's telling me to adjust the build plate by turning the front knob slowly in the loosening direction until I get a light from the extruder. All right, so we got past the first side calibration. Now we're on to our newly replaced knob. Let's see how she turns. Well, that was fun. If you'd like this part, it's available for free on our Thingiverse page. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, where we post a lot of previews and behind the scenes action. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.